Hey guys, so I'm finally doing my review for Breaking Dawn. Um, I was just really tired after I saw the film, so I was like sleeping pretty much the whole weekend. I just was like, ugh, kind of thing. So I'm finally getting it done now. Um, so let's get started. So here's my ticket. See, I saw it Friday at four. If you can, I know it's backwards, but see, and I saw it. Park Place Mall, which is here in Tucson. I got to see with two of my friends and my little sister. And I also got at the movie theater that I went to, they have these cups. See? Ta -da! That was it. They didn't have like popcorn buckets or anything. They just had this cup and they also had one t shirt. I got the cup because the cup was actually like two bucks. This cup. If you just wanted to buy the cup, it was two dollars. And to put soda in it, it was an extra three. So I did put soda in it, but that's my cup. See, it has everybody on it. There's Bella and Edward and Jacob. Then you see the other Cullens. Ta da! So I got the cup. It was awesome. The movie. Um, let's just start with the previews real quick. I know that they were supposed to show the Hunger Games trailer and something with Vampire Diaries and The Secret Circle. I didn't see that. There, they showed um, the Snow White trailer for the one with Kristen Stewart, Snow White and the Hudson. Um, they showed that trailer and some other ones, but they didn't show the Hunger Games or anything like that that was said to be in front of Breaking Dawn. So I was fine either way. I, I was there to see Breaking Dawn, not the trailer for Hunger Games. So um, the movie itself was. Awesome. I was, I'm so glad I got to see it. Uh, I'm definitely hoping to see it again. I do still have some leftover money, so we'll see. I'm going to try and go see it this Friday again. And I'll definitely do another video uh, for that one, so, for the second viewing. Okay, so, overall, you know, a lot of, there was a lot of things I loved about the film. Some things I didn't like, let's just start with that. They're, when Bella's transforming into a vampire, right? They, they're they going inside the body, showing like the venom changing it. I just didn't like that. It was a little weird. I'm not into going inside the body kind of thing like that in movies or TV shows. Um, I just found it odd, but another thing about it was interesting to see how the venom changes the inside of the body as well so that's how that works um and again and then the next thing I didn't like the wolf voice voices when the wolf pack is the scene in the movie is they're talking about Bella being pregnant and what they're gonna do about it and that they're wolves and they're talking to each other and you know with their wolf telepathy it just sounded really odd and robotic, kind of, you know. It didn't sound very good, so that those are my two big complaints. Some of the makeup for some of the vampires were odd, like um, Kate and her sisters. The, or the eyes, right? They didn't really match. They kind of really stood out. Very <laughs> Sorry about that. Here's Raven again, my dog. Anyways, so the eyes really stood out, and they just didn't blend in very well with everything else about them. And Carlisle's makeup looked really odd as well throughout bits and pieces of the movie. Other than that, the movie really was really good. So, um, some of my favorite parts were like during the honeymoon. There's a lot, of, a lot of funny bits like. Bella trying on the laundry and she's all posing by the door. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Or like the wedding speeches. Charlie was hilarious. I don't know if I mentioned this in the other videos, but he's a scene stealer. You know, he really is. He stole the show in the, you know, when he was there. You know, I loved his speech. I know how to use a gun. I can hunt. I'm a cop. <laughs> it was funny. I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense right now, but... When you guys see the movie, if you haven't seen it yet, then you'll know. Um, let's just talk about 
one scene that I was concerned with was the imprinting scene when Jacob imprints on Renesmee. I was really concerned with that scene just because I was like, oh my god, how are they going to do this? How are they going to make it look like it's not this way when it's really supposed to be this way, right? It They did a really good job on it. It I was relieved, you know, and it was really good. Um, and it really did kind of go with the way it is in the book. You know, like the description of what imprinting really is. Um, by the way, speaking of imprinting they did show quill and claire remember he imprints on her in eclipse but they didn't put that in the movie when they were talking about imprinting but he did imprint on her she is there because they're at the beach because jacob is talking about you know what are they going to tell charlie about bella they're going to say she died in the plane crash or something and you see all the people that have imprinted on somebody on the other side of the beach, you know, they're all happy and everything. You see Quill and Claire, they're playing in the water. So, he didn't print on her. But, anyways, back to Jacob. But Jacob's imprinting was really good. I'm so glad that they did it the way they did. Because it works, and it really goes... It really says what imprinting is, kind of thing. And goes, in, you know... Anyways, the birth. The birth was wasn't very bloody but the way they got around having not being able to put so much blood as they showed it from Bella's perspective and it worked very well t there too I can understand you know trying to get a PG-13 rating why they're gonna have to like cut down on certain things right so but it was really good you know I like the fact that they did it they filmed it that way from Bella's perspective as opposed to being it from Jacob's so the birth was really good Bella looked throughout her pregnancy terrible I'm not really terrible I mean Kristen did a really good job in that scene as well but like she was all thin like really disgustingly thin like you can see the bones sticking out in certain parts of her body it was gross but it's kind of like how I imagined Bella when she was pregnant with Renesme, and you start to see obviously some like the blood that she has to drink it is starting to make her feel better because you can see the difference and it was really good very spot on um what's uh, the honeymoon back to the honeymoon yeah there were funny bits but how about the let's talk about the sex scene once again it was done really well it wasn't like you know, it was it was done tastefully, how about that? You know, it was just, it was a very good scene, I think. It wasn't overly, it wasn't like watching, for example, in True Blood, right? When you see the sex scenes in True Blood, it's not watching like, like that. It was very sweet and very emotional, as opposed to very kind of, for me, the scenes in True Blood feel like very, like a porn, and I don't, like, I can't watch those scenes because they're too graphic for me. So I kind of, like, have to turn my head if it's on TV or if I'm watching my DVD, I just fast forward. Because I just, depending on the, the couple, like, I'll watch, like, the Bill and Sookie ones. Certain ones. But mostly, like, Jason's. I can't watch his, so. Anyways, back to breaking down. But the, the love scene with Bella and Edward was really sweet and done very tastefully. And, you know, it looked like something that Stephanie would approve of so and obviously she didn't so okay uh let's talk about the wedding now the dress right Bella's dress after not being able to see anything but like the top part like the shoulders and everything for a long time it was just a little bit of the let a letdown the back of the dress was absolutely beautiful but the front was kind of plain and very disappointing it's like I was expecting a little more lace the shape of the dress is fine I like the shape but the front was just really plain and uh, yeah that was it um the dance it did I got the song wrong sorry the song that they danced to that prom was playing during the ceremony as opposed to being their first dance song they didn't even have the first dance, but there was dancing, and Car I mean, Jasper and Alice have some moves. 
they can dance. Like, and, you know, like, the humans are dancing all funny, but you see Jasper and Alice, they're going, like, swing dancing. I don't know what kind of dance it is. Are they doing, I think, maybe the jive, or... It's not the jive, sorry. Because he did, like, a lift. I'm sorry, I know a lot of da dance thing because my mom is a dancer and watches dance shows and everything. I take dance, too. Sorry, I keep looking out the window because I'm trying to see if someone's coming. Um, that's really it. Uh, I can't, I don't know what else to talk about right now. I'm trying to think. But, oh, oh, book to film. It was really good. I thought it was, like, the book, so. As much as they can get it, like, the book. And that scene, the added scene, the fight scene towards the end, it was done very well. I was pleased with it. I was concerned, remember? A little bit. And they did it a good job with that scene. They added it. And of course, the movie ended with Bella opening her eyes. It was interesting just to see, like, how the venom was working outside. Remember, because I said it was inside the body. You saw the venom working. Also outside. You see her hair get all shiny again. You see, like, her spine snap back into place and her body go up. And, like, the muscles and everything start filling back up. Like, she's... A healthy size again as opposed to being like scary skinny like she was when she was turning so and they got a really cute baby to play Renesme. so that was she was so cute sorry you didn't see her that often but she was a cute little baby and she's all cleaned up but overall I love the film I, I want to see it again and again and again and again and again but I'll probably only get to see it twice so I'll do another review, like I said in the beginning of this video. I'll do it right after. I should be well rested so I won't be tired after seeing it the second time. I don't have school that day, so that's good. And that's it. So, bye.